guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than my other Forza videos. Ooh, that one. Uh, in the sense that I'm just going to teach you how to make money. Okay, money yards. is important in this game, alright? I have 50,000. Okay, I only have 500,000 because I spent it all on a house, okay? Come. Now, this isn't a magical money making method. It's not going to get you 35 million every. Oh, for once I got something good. It's not going to get you 35 million every day. No, no, no. no. Turn left. It's only going to be about maybe a million a week, I'd say. I'd say a million a week is a reasonable amount of money. If, and that's if you don't, if you maybe play an hour, about an hour every day. Forza. Forza is not a game that you can really grind. It's not one of those type of games. But if it lets you play an hour every day for an entire year. It's gonna offer you 300 million by the end of the year. So if you play two hours, it's just gonna double and double and you know the more the more time you put into Forza, the more money you make. But for me, it's about maybe one million a week, and I got I. I mean, if I do all these things, I can, but I'm not in too desperate in need of money. I'm not really aiming to buy anything. I'm just kind of having fun with the game. It, it is pretty much just the best game overall. Um, but, you know, if you do these, you can get about a million weeks spending an hour um, about every day. So, let's get into the actual money making method. Right, so on to the first money-making method. Uh, it's probably pretty much the easiest. It's the Forza Hub app on your uh, thing. So, hold on. If I open up my Forza Hub. And so, if you don't know about the Forza Hub app, it's, it's free. You can just get it from that. From the Microsoft Store on your Xbox. You just install it, whatever. And boom so as you can see here welcome page you're eligible to receive free credits collect them here now it gives you like a hundred fifty thousand of Forza Horizon 4 every week I don't I barely ever collect these actually but like it gives you nine hundred thousand total um, and it just kind of gives you this certain amount of money in all the games that you own Or all in the updated games, it looks like, because you know, it just gives you in them and all the games that you own. I don't own Forza Motorsport 5, though. I don't know where that came from. But anyways, I make a hundred. I made 150,000 credits, just like that. Boom. Oh, and also, I apparently you make it. It gets better in the next rewards tier. So I'm in driving since 2013 now that's not true it's been a lot longer than that is because it's just this is how long i've been playing on this account um but i'm a tier seven i don't think that's very good but i am a tier seven and you also got all these reviews things galleries with your photos and everybody else's photos. It's, a, it's just an app that you should have overall for any person who ever plays this game. All right, so the next money-making method is on this welcome back page, festival playlist. Well, every time you log in, you see this, but you see these things. Um, you can just see all of these. These really help out with you making money, okay? Now, with these things that gives you cars, these cars are worth a lot of money. So if I were to do all three of these, each of these cars is probably going to be about a million unless it's kind of useless. So I would say only these would be worth anything. And this one may be a little bit more than a million. This one may be about a million. This one, I don't see what use this has. And there's also the PR stunts, which give you... Um, Plymouth Fury, that's useless, um, but Super Wheel Spins, these are really, really good, so you should always try and get these, and, you know, the trial, whatever, sometimes it's good for getting you a car, but, mm, usually not, 
There's this Forza Thon thing. This isn't worth anything since Forza Horizon 4 came out. Whatever you can get in the Forza shop, you can just get pretty cheap elsewhere. And then there's your weekly challenge and other things just for the Forza Thon points. There's no point in doing this. Um, and then there's the photo challenge, which is probably the best thing that you can do because it just takes you a second. Alright, and I believe the last one is... Wait, what did I have as the last one? Oh yeah, the last one is kind of auction flipping. So, basically just find a car... F f just check out a car that you know the approximate price with. So, for the Ferrari LaFerrari, let's say a million um, on a max buyout. Okay. Do I just very slowly scaling? Can I get LaFerrari here? LaFerrari. I only and I I said the but max buy out price at one million. No auction to display here, but that's because this is insanely cheap. And if I set it to one point one mil, still nothing. But you can get it from like 1.8 mil. For 2 mil, look, see, you can see that they're all going for 1.3 mil. So let's say I get something for 1 million. I can put it up on buyout for maybe 1.2 million and make 100,000 profit. It's minimal profit, but it'll eventually add up. So, you know. I also recommend you do this with cheaper cars. And this is just, if you plan on flipping a car, no, there's always certain cars that will, since nobody really does this money making method, there's always certain cars that will kind of skyrocket in price. Um, in Forza Horizon 3, the c three cars that were always there were Mazda RX-7, Porsche 19, and one other one, but then Porsche 19 got lost because you could pretty much get it for free. And, you know, Mazda RX-7 still was quite rare, but people just started doing the money-making method. But, you know, it's probably the best way, one of the best ways to make money. And that's gonna do it for this video. It's kind of different. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. She said I hate my